Oh, hey. Is TV too loud? I'm sorry if I woke you up. Yeah, neither can I, to be honest. I finished work a little too early for my own good, it seems. I can never get myself to just sleep before midnight. What about you? What's stopping you from dreaming? <sighs> Work can be stressful. I get it. Just some random horror movie I found. I'm not going to be picky here. Oh, I love horror movies. Especially on nights like this one promises to be. I don't know. A stormy night feels perfect for a horror movie, I guess. Although, I have to wait and see if this one lives up to my standards. Nope. Never seen this movie before. Have you? Horror is a new cup of tea. <laughs> Got it. It's alright. To each their own. The world would be such a bore otherwise. What do you like in that case? Really? That's... Cool? No. It's not that I hate it. It's just that the genre doesn't really... speak to me. <laughs> I hope it does. <laughs> Last thing I need right now is to come across as a weirdo. <laughs> I can put something else on if you want. It's not like I really want to watch this anyway. Oh, hey. Are you alright? No, you just jumped. I... Look, I don't want to be pushy. I... I truly don't. I hate being pressed for answers, but at this time... I don't want to just ignore what I saw. Alright, fair enough. I won't push, but please stay. For no longer, at least. I don't feel like sitting alone right now. Will you? Thanks. <sighs> Good question. Let me think about it. What do I like about horror movies? Mm. When it comes to horror, I like the supernatural or paranormal category. I really can't get enough of them. The well-made ones, of course. For psychological horror, it really depends on what kind of subject or issue they tackle in the story. I mean the ones that are first in realism, not the ones that have a supernatural element. I don't really know how to explain it. I guess what I expect a horror movie show to do for me is to scare me, to horrify me, not to depress me. I think that's why I steer clear of the ones that focus on real issues that plague society. Again, it depends on which one, but yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> what does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> yes, I'm holding your hand. You can always pull away if you feel uncomfortable. But if you don't, then I'll keep holding it like this. No worries. You have nothing to apologize for. You don't have to talk about it either. As I said before, I don't like to push. <laughs> you got me there. Yeah. That's why I asked you to stay with me. I can't read minds, but I can read the room. I'm not oblivious to what happens around me. I saw your reaction earlier, and I made the conclusion that thunder was the reason for it. 
but I am really enjoying your company. I didn't lie when I said I don't want to stay alone. You don't have to justify your fears to me either, you know. I mean, it's thunder we're talking about. <laughs> to be fair, your fear sounds a lot more rational than mine. Numbers. Numbers. <laughs> there. Now you know. I have arithmophobia. <laughs> Afraid of anything and everything that has to do with numbers. Math, arithmetics, and all their acolytes. I'm not trying to compare. I. Alright, fine, I am comparing. I'm just saying that between the both of us, you'd have more legitimate reasons to fear thunder than I dread numbers. <laughs> I'm not making fun of myself, believe me. That's not my goal with this. I just... really meant it when I said that you don't have to justify your fears to anyone. No matter how irrational they sound. You do with the cards you were dealt with in this area of matters. And you do what's best for you. In the end, if you're happy, then the people around you who genuinely care for you will see it and feel it too. I spent way too long trying to gain the approval and validation from people around me in that field. Until I realised it's a monumental waste of time. Precious time I could have used to focus on myself and work on my own mental health. Do you want to come closer? Tonight is pretty cold anyways. I promise you, I don't mind. You're not bothering me at all. Is this comfortable? How long have we been roommates? <laughs> wow. Five months, huh? And I think this is the longest conversation we've ever had. A pretty deep one at that. <laughs> I absolutely didn't mind opening up about my fears to you. Not at all. In fact, I kind of feel a little lighter, to be honest. I do talk about my phobia with my therapist, but it feels different. It's a different experience. And I did seek out groups and safe spaces where I could discuss it without fear of judgement, but I guess it's just been a long time since I've done that. Feels like ages, actually. How do I feel about thunder and storms? Um, I don't think there are other ways for me to describe it. I just like them. Especially at night. I love listening to the rain, wind and thunder as I'm trying to fall asleep. It gives me a sort of comfort that I can really get when I'm trying to sleep. I would ask how you feel about numbers, but something tells me you'll have a harder time finding the words to express your, uh, feelings about numbers. Hey, it's alright. I'm here. Safe here. Nothing can reach you. Wait, let me just pull this blanket and then we can turn ourselves into a burrito. <laughs> there. Warmer? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cozy, isn't it? I think I can totally fall asleep like this. 
Yeah, absolutely. We can stay like this for the entire night. I don't mind. <laughs>